before we start to wrap things up, um, mm-hmm. any tips for people out there wanting to get into voice acting? Ah, uh, yes, the great question. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I would, I would <laughs> highly recommend. <laughs> I would highly recommend going to I want to be a voice actor dot com. It's a website by D. Bradley Baker, and it's got tons of information, tons of articles written by him um, about how to get into voiceover and stuff like that. I also recommend the Voice Acting Club. It's a, it's a forum, but it's also a Discord community as well, um, run by Kira Buckland. She played 2B in Near Automata, and she's in JoJo and a bunch of other stuff. She's uh, an acquaintance of mine. We've met at a couple conventions, and she's really cool. Uh, and that community has was actually one of the early online communities that I started out with. Um, where they're they're just really supportive and they're they're open to newcomers and they have plenty of projects that are there for practicing um, on like amateur projects, but they also have sometimes they'll have indie projects that are paid looking for professional talent as well. So it's always a good uh, back pocket thing to just so, sort of have around um, sort of thing. Take acting classes because voice acting is more about the acting than it is about the voices you can do. I I. I'm helping somebody develop their demo right now, and uh, I, I keep needing to remind them, like, hey, doing a bunch of voices is great, but if if they're, they're just looking to see if you can perform the roles and stuff like that um, sort of thing. And and so, yeah, getting getting performance focused is, is a lot more important than trying to stretch your range in, in ways that might even hurt you. Like, if you're if you've got a naturally higher voice like mine, don't be trying to, like, stretch your voice way too low where it's gonna really hurt hurt yourself um so yeah those are those are a handful of of tips i guess uh to look at (laughs) 